but it's still fully on that. Yeah, it's just scraping a little bit. Scraping a lot. I don't know if you're going to get it up there. Continuing our winter adventure through the Lithgow Mountains in the GQ Patrol with the Opus OP2 in tow, we weave ourselves through the back tracks of Sunny Corner to Turon River. I've taken this route a hundred times in our four-wheel drives before, but this was a first for Tully. With sharp corners, deep rutted out steps, wet weather approaching, we're in deep and really starting to question our decision. Some of these tracks are just not designed for pulling a camper up taking it one obstacle at a time and hoping to get to our next destination unscathed. Proudly supported by Ultimate 9, Tread, Opus Campers, Superior Engineering and in part by back with the second episode of our Lithgow area adventure. Myself, Demi Zeff, the GQ and the OP2. So we saw last time we sort of explored out through Noon State Forest and then up down at Ballbone Gap. We've come up onto the range this morning and this is where we're starting out. As you can see, absolutely incredible spot here. We've got the setup parked there and you've got all these amazing mountains behind you. Enjoy this spot for a little bit, and then the plan this morning is we're heading down Ballbone Gap Trail. After the lookout, we actually tried to go out the other end of Ballbone Gap, but the road's closed. Not sure why, so we turned around and now we're coming out like the Lithgow end of it, dropping down this very steep hill here between the rocks. Uh, it's going to be a fairly steep, savage descent with the trailer. Locked in first gear low, take it nice and slow. Those reduction gears work wonders, especially when you're controlling a trailer down steep stuff. Next stop on our adventure is Sunny Corner State Forest. A little bit of a mud hole to get us started. We're heading down in there now. I don't know if you're gonna get it up there. Oh, you need to go back a bit, yeah. maybe, and then like kind of go more that way. Cause it's like hitting right. There's no way it's gonna get up there. Nah, it's still fully on that. Okay, 
that that's the hole that needs to be like filled in. And we're up. Whew. That was a bit of a savage climb out of the creek there. If you've been to Sunny Corner, you'll know the one it is. It's already interesting in a full drive, let alone with a trailer attached. That's it, we're up into this little area now. Beautiful afternoon out here. We're just out doing some exploring really. Driving around the tracks with the camper and probably find a campsite soon. Just up there you can only see if you got Jackass Hill which is an awesome track in this area. Not suitable for camper trailer though. Depending how we go for time, if we get to camp early, drop the trailer off and then I'll come back and have a crack at it in the GQ. Well we had a bit of a drive around over there but there's not very far to go other than right back out the long way or up Jackass Hill which you can't do with a trailer. We still might drive that later depending where we end up. But we want to go try and find a camp so we're going to come back this down this way <laughs> we came in back down this savage drop across the creek and loop up around to a different spot I know. We'll try and scoot around the side on the way down. It's a bit of a different line. Potentially easier but potentially get you kind of tangled up. That's why I didn't come up it but we'll We'll give it a crack. We're down, hopefully we didn't damage the trailer. <laughs> up out of the creek it's about a half a kilometer climb in front of us a lot of ruts should be good fun in the camper makes it a whole lot more interesting doing this stuff with the camper trailer it's awesome fun though this hill just keeps going and going and going you got to be so much more careful and precise with all your lines and everything you're doing Whereas without the trailer in this car, like you literally just blind drive up here blindfold. We're up that hill and then drop back down the other side onto the river again, and we found ourselves a nice spot. We reckon we're just gonna camp here the night we're on the river got pretty sweet views out behind us here and yeah we'll set the trailer up we're only right on the edge of the trail but it's a tuesday night i don't think we'll get anyone coming along out here tonight we haven't seen anyone out in this area the whole day Zeph's awake. Zeph's helping. Zeph's like, use this one, Dad, you idiot. <laughs> oh, she's in. Good job. <laughs> oh, not rocks. Throw this one in, Zevi. Throw it in. Camp set up, fire is going. Now it is time for a swim before it gets dark. It's gonna be bloody cold, I'll tell you that.
<laughs> Scale of one to Antarctica, how cold was it? It wasn't as bad as Liz Cove, but it was still <laughs> freaking freezing. <laughs> On the fire. It's dark now. Being in the middle of winter, the days aren't very long. Like, I think it's about 5:30. It gets pitch black dark. It's about 5:45 now, and yeah, I can't see any light around. But we are going to cook some dinner, and given that it's winter, we're going to cook a soup: chicken tortellini soup. The first step was just cut up some chicken and then cook it, which I've done. Now time for some veggies. Three cloves of garlic. I don't like garlic, so I'm only putting one and a half. Now we're adding the celery that I so nicely chopped and the carrots that I also Chopped my very self. Give it a little bit of a mixeroo. Now for the spices. Half a teaspoon of thyme. And then you want double that amount of Italian herbs. And then you want half of that of turmeric. I'm actually surprising myself with this. Mm. You let that boil. Once it boils, we add the tortellini. Now we add our chicken. Now we let that simmer for two minutes and then we will serve it up. Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. We've retreated into the opus with the diesel heater going. How's it taste? How's it taste, Zef? Oi, how's it taste? Mm. Yummy. I see you've got your new chaos bags or Nicely laid out too. <laughs> Demi's been bragging about all her new bags she's got for camping. Clothes bag, makeup bag, bag for Zeph's clothes, got all the bags. Anyways we'll enjoy dinner, check back in in the morning. There's a little bit of rain meant to be around tomorrow so may or may not wake up in the rain. Beautiful little morning out here by this creek. It hasn't started raining yet, but there has been a couple little spots. So we're gonna have brekkie and pack up reasonably quick this morning before any rain does come, because no one likes packing up in the pouring rain. What you see, Zephy? You going to show everyone the creek? Over there. Jackass Hill, I'm pretty sure it's called that. I think people also call it Bastard Hill. It's only about a kilometer from where we camped, so we decided we packed up. We're just gonna leave the trailer there and drive up and have a look at it and yeah, give it a crack this morning. The only issue is it's just started raining as we made this plan, so we'll see how it looks when we get there. It looks too slippery in the wet. Front locker's not working, is it? Um, any idea what's going on here, like what I could do? This hill is very steep with some nasty rock steps on it. 
the line we were on was just not working, so we backed me down and tried a whole different approach. Him and these bloody lockers, man, they're doing my head in. They just don't work, they work, they don't work, they work. It's been a continual nightmare. So basically before this trip, we think it's a wiring issue. Because I've checked all the oils, there's no metal, like the diffs all show healthy signs, but then they just like skip in and out of activation. But the lockers in the GU have been unreal for a couple of years now, but these GQ ones just been nothing but problems. So Anyways, that's Jagars Hill done in the rain with a working locker sometimes here and there. But we're up. All right, we're gonna go back get the trailer and I think we're gonna head out to Turon River now. Trailer's hooked up. We're gonna head out towards Turon River National Park. So we're gonna get bogged. Yeah, I'm not rescuing you. You're on your own. <laughs> You're on your own, mate. We're on the Pinnacle Fire Trail now. I knew it did have a couple of deeper bog holes on it. I'm pretty sure it's one that's even deeper. This is the one that cuts from Sunny Corner through to Turon River National Park. Got the tires down, nice and low, plenty of bag. I forgot to air down the camp trailer ones though. Probably should do that, but oh well. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> We've emerged out of the bush now, up onto some of these top little mountain peaks which are clear up here, as in the trees are clear and you got awesome views out over the ranges and that. It's pretty nice up here on a rainy day too. Now we drop down off the mountain range into the Turon River over the other side of this mountain range. <laughs> this is a pretty awesome track, this one. That's all we've got. Turon National Park and then you come in through this gate over here We're in Now 
There's nothing too challenging in Turon River National Park. It is four wheel drive only. It's mainly just due to all these river crossings, which, yeah, nothing hard, but they're beautiful. Lots of fun just driving, zigzag your way. You, make, you cross this river a heap of times. pulled up on the edge of the river here for a little bit of lunch you can open up the fridge in the kitchen area of the op2 without cracking the whole thing open so yeah you know you can always access your food and kitchen thing and cook and whatever you need to do but it's so beautiful out here there's a little bit of rain around but makes it super nice it's not a huge place out here so we're sort of through a fair bit of it i'm gonna have some lunch and probably go for a bit more of a drive and find a spot to set up a camp early and for lunch avocado cheese chips and tuna, delicious. Tuna every day. And nutritious. to the end of the track out here so you can't go any further than that private property lock gate bit of a tight turnaround here with the trailer but yeah we're just out driving enjoying this afternoon actually there's some goats over there too running up the side of the mountain there how cool is that enjoying the afternoon and what's amazing is there's literally not another person out in this whole national park we've seen we've just driven through the whole thing so this whole place to ourselves but yeah we'll cruise back now and find a camp somewhere you having fun yeah Yep, they saw them. Did you see the goats? They're so cute. This is us for the night. The road's just over there, we just come up into this little gravel section. Pretty flat spot for the trailer there, and then nice little creek, clear creek down there. Looks so nice. We'll pop the trailer off and set up here for the afternoon. Diesel heater already going on at four in the afternoon. Well, gotta have my towel ready and warm for what I swim. Swim. What do you reckon it is? A rat? Maybe someone on YouTube can tell us. Is it a rat? That's it. Swim's cancelled. Swim's cancelled. I'm not. I was gonna do it too. I was gonna put my head under and no, everything. She, she was ready. She was gonna swim. I'm not doing it now. Seamus is contaminated the water. You're gonna swim in there for like an hour. Yeah. I had my floaty all floated up and everything. <laughs> yeah, I was living the maxo relaxo life going. You know, it easy being breezy. I was literally, I was literally going to say, 
Just remember, you're a pussy if you don't put your head under. <laughs> your head was already under. <laughs> if you don't go for a swim, all of YouTube will know. Zeph's going. Zeph's going swimming. She's in. I said in the previous episode, but this is only our first trip in the new OP2. And we don't have the annex or sun awning on it. It does come with a couple of options. So like an open big awning thing or an annex, like an enclosed room. We have the annex at home. We're like, oh, we won't worry about attaching it for this trip. We'll just sort of have it as the open unit, then all open out here for cooking and camping. That's been really good. Just now that we do have this bit of rain, it would be nice to have some shelter there, but yeah, that's all right. It does come with that option. We just didn't put it on for this trip. We're having honey, soy, garlic, tofu, butter bowls. Tofu cooking there now. We have some leftover rice from a couple of nights ago that we're going to use. So we're just heating it up in the pan. Dinner is served. Looks delicious. Tofu, what's that? Snow pea sprouts, yep. broccoli, carrot, rice, avocado. Yum yum. Living the dream, boys. That's us for the night. We're gonna enjoy dinner here in the camper trailer. The sun is out and the rain has disappeared. Beautiful morning here on this Turon River. I was saying before, this is like the cleanest I've seen this creek. And I reckon it's cause there's no one else out here so you don't have too many people driving through the crossings and that. Today is our last day on this trip though. We are heading home today. So we're just packing up the camper trailer now and then we're gonna make our way up out of this national park and up to Cape T, I think it is, Cape T. the National Park now just at the entrance here on this main dirt road airing up the tires another awesome trip away we are gonna make the drive home now good first test run out in the new OP2 and time with the GQ obviously gonna need to try some new rear coils again some more heavy-duty ones and hopefully swap in this new engine soon because this one's fully stuffed but Anyways, lots of work coming up on these cars, as per always, keeping these old cars on the road. Hopefully everyone enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. 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 We're back with the second episode. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back with it. Yeah. How'd it go, Jeff? Nice. Can we get some comments? No?
Can we get some comments? Well. We're up out of the creek. It's about a half crate. Boom, boom, boom. Say hi, Zippy. Hi. We're up out of there. Boom, boom, boom. We're up out.